Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, where we delve into all things related to product design, career goods and motivation. Today's video is all about the crucial process of handing off designs to engineers. Ensuring a smooth transition from design to development is a pivotal for creating successful digital products. To help you master this process, I have put together a comprehensive checklist of what to include in your design documents to avoid missing any important details. We will start with project overview and collaboration. When it comes to handing off your designs to engineers, start with a solid project overview. Provide a comprehensive project summary that delves into the project context, objectives, and alignment with your organization's goals. For instance, explain how redesigning a mobile app contributes to improving user engagement and retention, ultimately boosting revenue growth. Additionally, outline the project timeline, key milestones and deadline, emphasizing their importance of both design and development teams. Collaboration is essential in this process. Discuss how your team prefers designers and developers to work together, ensuring a smooth and productive workflow. Next up, the design assets. High fidelity mockups are your detailed visual blueprints for developers. Imagine you are redesigning a website homepage. Your high fidelity mockup should clearly show the placement of every element, from buttons and navigation menus to images and text. In larger companies, you might find that these design assets are already prepared and ready to use, thanks for the company design library. In such cases, developers can seamlessly access these assets, ensuring a consistent and efficient design-to-development process. Don't forget to provide access to source design files and export test assets in various formats for flexibility. Think of it like offering a toolbox to developers. The more tools they have, the easier it is to bring your design to life. Lastly, stress the importance of standardized set of UI components to maintain consistency across the application. Think of these components as building blocks, ensuring that buttons, forms, and other elements look and behave consistently throughout the app. Responsive design. Breakpoints are key in responsive design, as they determine when the design should adapt to different screen size and orientations. Consider how a website adjusts from a desktop to a mobile phone. It's important to identify the most popular breakpoint that designers in your team typically design for. Keep in mind that different companies may focus on a different screen sizes variations for mobile and desktop. By preparing guidelines for these breakpoints, you can ensure that your developers will not forget about them or make any mistakes. User flows. When it comes to visualizing user journeys, it is essential to create detailed user flows. Just like drawing a map to guide travelers throughout the forest, user flows serve as a navigational tool for developers. By mapping out user interactions and navigations, user flows enable developers to gain a comprehensive understanding of how users can effortlessly navigate through your product or feature. This holistic approach ensures a seamless user experience and helps in identifying potential areas for improvement. So invest time in creating well-structured user flow that acts as a blueprint for your product success. Now let's discuss interactivity. Interactive elements such as drop-downs, pop-ups, and form validations are essential for engaging users. Take, for example, a drop-down menu. It should smoothly appear and disappear when triggered, providing a seamless user experience. By using prototypes and animation, developers can accurately replicate complex interactions, like swiping through a photo gallery. In a large company, you may not need to do this if your company already has a global interaction guideline in place. Accessibility considerations. When it comes to creating a website, it is important to take into account accessibility compliance, ensuring that your websites meet the web content accessibility guidelines, VCAG, is essential for providing an inclusive user experience. By incorporating area roles and providing descriptive alt text for images, you can make your content accessible to all users, including those with disabilities. This not 
only demonstrates your commitment to inclusivity, but also allows a wider audience to access and engage with your website content effectively. Content guidelines and edge cases. When it comes to content, guidelines are essential. Consider character limits for headlines and language-specific requirements for a global audience. And don't forget about handling edge cases. For instances, error messages and validation errors need to be addressed in your design. Provide your contact information such as email and preferred communication channels for any questions or clarifications. Version control is also crucial. Imagine that your design document is like a book. Version control ensures that everyone is on the same page reading the same story. Lastly, emphasize the need for final review and sign-off process involving stakeholders and team members. Think of it as getting everyone approval before proceeding. This ensures alignment and agreement on the design document. To wrap it up, comprehensive design documentation is a cornerstone of an efficient and accurate design to development handoff. Remember, it's not just a document. It's a bridge that connects your vision with the developers who bring it to life. By following these best practices and emphasizing user-centric design principles, you will set yourself up to focus and your designs to development handoff. Thank you very much for watching this video and I can't wait to see the incredible products you'll create. Bye-bye!